Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I want to address an important question. Now I expect that you are a student who wants to take online courses. Now before you take any online course by me or any other instructor, you need to listen to me in this video. This is not a course specific video, this is a general video so that you can set your expectation from online courses. Is it me or any other great instructor, whoever that is, you need to listen to me here. Now I'm talking here all about the programming and coding courses. Now first and foremost, it takes a lot of effort to create the courses. And instructors are doing really a hard work in creating all those courses to provide you all affordable education. Now there are two ways of designing a course. The one is the formal approach and one is a little bit informal approach. Now in the formal approach, instructor likes to edit all those mistakes that he has made while writing the code and has solved the problem. Now there is nothing wrong in this approach, but there is one key element that get missed out in this very, very formal approach. That is understanding how the problem is being solved. Now I have worked with a lot of teams from Facebook, Google and recently on the Firestore as an unofficial tester product. Now even those engineers who are great and are working at the most prestigious companies like Google and Facebook, their product on day one is not perfect. So yes, everybody makes mistake and you should always keep that in mind. In the formal approach, people like to edit out all those parts and in the early days I also used to do it. But over the time I realized that it gives up a myth in the mind of students. The myth that nobody makes mistake. And if I'm making a mistake, probably there is something wrong with me. No, there is nothing wrong with you. Just like when you love to, when you have an idea of spending a vacation, some group of people would love to have a vacation on a hill with a snow mountain, while on the other hand, one group of people would like to have a vacation on a lovely, nice, warm beach. Nobody's wrong, but it's a kind of a personal preference. In the similar way, there are two approaches. The formal way in which everybody has edited all those parts uh, where they are making mistakes and solving problems. And there is another approach which is known as little bit less formal. In that approach, instructor will make mistakes in front of you and will try to edit them. There is nothing wrong in that. And I personally believe that the instructor who shows you that yes, we are making mistakes and this is how you solve that problem is very essential thing. Trust me, whenever you are going to work for on your own project or onto company's project or anywhere you are working as a job profile, your number one job is going to be solve that mistake. That is the reason why Stack Overflow website is at the very top and is the programmer's favorite because it teaches you how to solve your problem. Now in the early days, I used to have a formal approach of writing the code and everything was edited and all those mistakes. There was no mistake in all those videos. But eventually I realized that I am missing an essential and key part of the programming. That is how to solve problems. And I need to show my students that yes, sometimes I pick up color like green and later on I say, they green color is not looking nice, we need to change that to red, or maybe I'm missing a semicolon. These are all essential part. Writing a simple loop, declaring variables, creating function, and joining them together to make, make an awesome product is easy. Anybody can do, do that with a small amount of training. The problem actually starts when there are errors. When you're writing a function, you're writing this function, and you want to join them somehow to create a functionality. The problem arises when they don't sync up. Then when this is the time when you actually start exploring the things that why my things are not working. And this is known as something workflow. And I personally believe that this workflow, this uh, showing up of the problems is an essential part of programming. Now, I, I, I'm not saying that I'm perfectly right here. Perhaps in, in the training, some of the students expect that there should be a complete flow, there should be no problems at all. You might be that kind of student, but early in the very stage, I would like to mention this, uh, that I prefer a little bit informal approach, a friendly way to interact with you, to communicate with you. I believe that learning is fun and coding is so much fun to do. And that is why I prefer a little bit informal approach where I choose some colors like green, later on change them to white, or maybe make a mistake of missing the semicolon and in front of you try to find that out. But this doesn't mean I want to waste your time. All these things are done in a fast forward manner. All these editings and polishing of these videos are done. This is not like I'm always uploading unedited videos. All these videos are taken special care in audios and videos and all their qualities, color correction, everything is done. 
So on a final note, I want to say with this video is that whatever the course you are taking from wherever the instructor is or whoever the instructor is, expect mistakes. These are essential part of programming and just get the myth out of your mind which says that, hey, somebody is going to bring a computer and it's going to just write the code tip, 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 tip like that and is, his code is gonna work fine. No, it's not like that. It takes a, a lot of revisions, a, a lot of uh, error solving skills to make that product up and running. So next time, whenever you take my course or any other instructor course, expect mistake, and the most important part, learn how to solve those mistakes. With this, I would surely catch you up in the next video. See you inside some awesome course.